Today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice, quick, easy, simple, healthy cheeseburger. Without the cheese, without the meat. So a plant-based cheeseburger, but still to have that, that flavour um, that you probably, you know, associate with going to, going to a fast food place and getting one of those big greasy burgers. But this is all natural ingredients, um, super healthy. So there's only a couple of elements really to this, uh, besides having the bun. Uh, it's up to you what bun you want to get. I really like these flour top buns, super soft, super delicious. Or if you haven't got burger buns, just grab a loaf of bread and make it like a burger sandwich. Like It doesn't really matter, it's what you've got. So with the nut meat, we're just going to make our patties. Um, with the patties, we're going to put a bit of raw onion through them, and then with that raw onion, we're going to try and do that pretty fine sort of dice. Throw that through the patty as well, so when that cooks off, it'll just cook off the onion with the patty. You could pre cook the onion and put it through, but I like that. I like the fact that it won't be totally cooked through, and there's still a little bit of rawness, a little bit of crunch, and that real onion punch to the patty as well. Uh, with the patty as well, I'm going to be using some soy sauce, some barbecue sauce, and some tomato sauce, stuff that most of you would have. Um, in the pantry sort of laying around um, but it's entirely up to you what sort of like sauces and flavorings you want to put in there. There's stuff like liquid smoke that you can get from the supermarket which is going to give that real smoky taste uh, and that literally is just condensed hickory smoke with a bit of water. But essentially today I'm going to have the, have the nut meat, some soy sauce, some barbecue sauce, some tomato sauce, uh, some garlic powder, a little bit of S&P, salt and pepper and some red onion as well. And that will sort of be it. I'm going to like Play with it as I go, mix it through, get the right sort of texture, get the right shape, make sure it's holding together, have a little taste and see if I need to add anything at all. So, so we've got the nut meat in there, just in the bowl, and then chuck my red onion that I just finely diced. A um, little pinch of cracked pepper, a couple of pinches of garlic powder, probably about two to three teaspoons worth of garlic powder. Now I've got some store bought, some tomato sauce and barbecue sauce here, which are both 100% plant based as well. If you really want to get creative and you've got a bit of time, you can make your own barbecue sauce, you can make your own tomato sauce as well. They are simple ingredients and really easy to do if you've got a bit of time to do it. So, some tomato sauce, we're going to go about a quarter of a cup of tomato sauce, about a quarter of a cup of barbecue sauce, less than a quarter of a cup of soy, a couple of tablespoons to start with, and then we can add a bit more as we go. We don't want it too salty. So, I'm going to go a little bit of flour as well. I don't want too much. Probably just a nice tablespoon of flour, and that's just going to help bind it together. And literally, that's sort of it. I'm just going to mix that together. Get your hands in there, really just squish it all in, work it all together. And that flour that we put in, you're going to start to feel it's getting a little bit sticky. Once it's sticky, we're going to know it's, know it's pretty good. But we're going to have a go, and then we're going to have a little taste of it. Let's see if we need to add anything. Mmm, it's pretty good. I don't think adding it could use a bit of a tang. So if you want to use a bit of a tang, uh, you can either use some lemon, some lime, or you can use some vinegar as well. I might actually just use some um, fresh lime that I've got here. I'll squeeze that in. Just freshen it up. Alright, I'm just going to get the frying pan going. I need good heat, a bit of oil in there. Just let that really heat up. While that's heating up, I'm just going to get a patty going. Depending how thick you want it, just get a nice ball, shape between your hands, depending how thick you want it, quite thin, it's up to you, nice medium sort of patty, you can see there, a nice looking patty, and resembles a beef patty, I've got, I've got to say, and the texture and the taste is not far off either, so we've got that going, you want this pan to be quite hot, smoking, not quite, Turn it down if it just does, does the smoke, but you do want it quite hot. You really want to hit it, you really want to get a nice seal on the outside and get a little bit crispy on the outside as well. And if it's nice and hot, it won't stick. It might stick to start with. If it does stick, stick to start with, with the patty, just let it sit there and sit there and it'll cook off and then it will slowly release from the pan and then you'll be able to give it a flip. Don't rush it. If it does start to stick, don't freak out with the, with the spatula and start trying to dig it out of there, you're just going to make a mess. So just, just let it sit for a bit until it just sort of cooks off on the bottom and then it will sort of like unstick from the pan. You got your patty here. Cool. And then we just want to literally just let that sit there. Like I said, just want to sit there. They got a nice seal on the outside before I flip it. Because it is, it is sort of plant protein as well. It doesn't hold together as well as it would with like a beef patty and so forth. 
Um, so you don't want to muck with it too much. Don't, you know, don't sit there and play with it. It will fall apart. You let it sort of do its thing for a bit, and then you'll be able to flip it nicely after that. So while it's doing that, we're going to make the quick little bechamel sort of cheese to go on this burger. Now, if you remember, if you guys watched the last one with the lasagna, the bechamel, same thing. I'm just not going to make it quite as runny. It's going to be a bit of a thicker, a thicker sauce. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric to it uh, for some colour. Just give it that nice yellow sort of cheesy colour, which will add a little bit of flavour to it as well. Going to give it a really good hit with the lemon or lime juice, a nice amount of salt and pepper. But just doing it a bit thicker, not quite as thin and runny, just a bit thicker. So if you had to kind of sit on there, almost like a bit of cheese that will sit on top of the patty. And then once that, once that sits there, it, if you eat it, it will give it that really nice texture. So again, the bechamel. Up with good tablespoon butter. Move that around. It starts to smoke by that straight away. Just turn that heat right down. You don't want it to smoke and burn. But you do want to add a bit of colour to the butter. Just want that butter to melt down to this side. You can see there, it's a little bit of colour on that on that side. A little bit of char. And we've got the best melt happening here. So we've got the butter in there, a couple of really big tablespoons. I'm going to add about a cup of flour, roughly a cup. Stir that through into the butter until it becomes like a little pastry, dry sort of pastry dough. It all comes, comes away from the sides. It starts to stick together and sort of dries out. And from there, we're adding our soy milk about half a cup at a time and just mixing that in until it's nice and smooth. Again, it goes a bit like doughy like that. So now you just need a bit more liquid. So another quarter to half a cup of soy milk. And again, just until you get the pinch of Woo! It's starting to look a nice consistency. A little bit more milk. Smooth, sort of cheesy consistency. Now we're going to add a little bit of the turmeric to it, just a nice colour. We'll add a little bit of flavour to it as well. I'm going to add some salt, some nice pinches, and some fresh lime or lemon. Just give it a bit of a tang, almost like a nacho kind of cheese. All in, just a nice good stir. A little bit of soy milk, just let that flour cook out a little bit more so you won't get that graininess with flour. Turn that patty off. See it's held together. As long as you can get underneath and it still moves around like a pancake, so it's done. There's the bechamel sauce. Lovely yellow, sort of yellow colour. A little taste. Make sure we don't need any more salt. For me, I just have a bit more salt. But again, entirely up to you guys. Salt is a personal thing. Alright, so they're both turned off. So I'm just going to assemble the burger. That was literally how easy it is, guys, to make a patty and make a really nice cheesy cheesiness to get on the burger. Alright, burger bun with mayo, top and bottom. It's all about the layers. There you go. It's pickles, nice little long slices. Any greens, guys, I just got some baby spinach, so I wanted to use that, but it doesn't really matter if you want to use a bit of rocket. Mexican lettuce, iceberg lettuce, just get some greens on there. Uh, it is a burger in the end of the day. You want to get all the colours in there, get all a bit of veg. It's going to taste delicious, but you know, get your health factors in there as well. Nutmeg patty. There we go, a nice bechamel. Hang on top. There we go. It almost looks like cheese. Alright, that's your cheese element on there. Nice slices of tomato. Slices of pickle. A bit of onion. Nice and fine if you're going to do onions for burgers. You don't want those really the big chunky oniony bits. Hang on. One of the most important bits. A little bit of ketchup. Just give it that really traditional sort of burger flavour that everyone would be used to if they've ever eaten fast food. That is it, guys. That is your OG vegan Whopper. Thanks again, Yusasa, for having me. Really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy your cooking. Keep it simple, keep it fresh, keep it cheap, and have fun with it. Guys, you're going to be at home cooking, may as well have some fun with it. Um, and it's not hard to cook healthy and still make it delicious. So thanks very much for your time, and happy eating. Cheers.